So, you're looking for a new blender because your old one broke and now you can't make smoothies anymore for your health diet when you go to the gym. Unfortunate. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this little stone material texture thing. We're going to go ahead and get started. This is pretty cool because it's, uh, it's pretty dynamic and you can change it with um, just the color ramp. You can change the colors, you can change the scale, you can change everything with just a few nodes. So, this is what it looks like basically. Looks like a like a 2D kind of stone ground looking thing, which looks really really cool to me. Um, as you can see, when you zoom in here, we have different layers to it, different uh, like textures and whatever whatnot. So let's get started. The, we only have four nodes here, which is crazy. So we have the principal BSDF shader, the color ramp, the noise, and the Verona. So let's go ahead and unhook this real quick. We'll take a look at this real quick. Um, we have the base color as a nice gray, um, which is this hex right here, which is 2D 2D 2D. Cool, very nice. And then we have the specular set to five and we have the roughness all the way up to one if we go ahead and hit shift a and search for a color ramp uh texture we can go ahead and add the color into the oh nope that's not it on, on, okay well um if we we can hook it up into the specular what we're going to do there is we're going to unhook that hook that up into the specular it's not going to do much because uh we don't really have we don't we don't we're not really really seeing much right now because we don't have any materials or textures or anything so if we go ahead and add in a shift a noise texture right there we can plug the color into the factor and as you can see instantly we have this now it'll, it'll look a little different because i had this set to constant by default i think this is on linear i believe so if you have this on linear it'll look like this which is also kind of cool but not really the same so <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put this on constant and as you can see it has that nice sharp edge you can also you can put this on linear or on something else to make it like a smoother um look but we'll, look, we'll take a look at that, and we'll go back later on. But the uh, values for the noise, noise texture is 14.1, 16.5, uh, and 0. And then we add in a Verona texture. Now, this is the this is the important part. If we hit Shift A and search for a Verona texture, the first thing to come up is not these settings. As you can see, the first one is F1, <coughs> not smooth F1. So, if we go ahead and plug up the... Undo that real quick. If we go ahead and plug up the... Oops the color into the vector i believe it is oh there we go the color into the vector and the color back into the factor you can see that we get this now this is because we change this just to, to smooth f1 from regular f1 regular f1 would look would look like this it would, it would give you this which is also cool but not really what i'm going for so if we had smooth f1 you can see it makes this like little round edge kind of thing it looks like rocks to me it looks like stone like a stone ground like a stone street or something it looks really cool um so yeah that's basically that. Like I said, um, you can turn this back to linear so you can get a little smooth kind of thing going on there, which is very awesome. You can change around the scale, you know, make it bigger, make it smaller. Of course, some sizes look better than others. It looks like a very like tiled floor with stone, I guess. But I think the, the settings that I had looked the most like a stone uh, ground, which is 8.7. And then uh, you can just change this value to what you want to. Obviously, I'll just turn it all the way up, actually, the smoothness. Uh, you can also turn the random different to different things as well. If you want to be squares, that's also very cool. You can make a, like a glass door, a shower door, or like a um, shower tile or something. Really easy with something like this. Very, very cool stuff. Just turn the uh, specular way up. You know, maybe turn some metallic in there. We can probably put this from specular uh, into the metallic, and you probably get a different uh, look if you're doing like shower tile or something. Yeah, that would look good for like shower tile, I suppose. Maybe the roughness as well. You can do that. But um, but yeah, just play around with it. You find something cool that there, there's your shower tile. There it is, right there. A little bit of uh, a little bit of specular. There you go. That's the shower tile right there. That is very, very cool. You just change around the colors. The base color won't do too much other than just like the base undertones. Um, but yeah, that's your shower tile right there. That is very, very, very cool stuff. So I guess instead of having this video be about stone in specific, it'll just be about this 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 cool like Verona smooth F1 kind of um feature. But uh, but yeah, so I guess we'll just we'll, we'll we'll just leave it there. We have this this really cool ability to make these nice little squares with um with the roughness and with the specular. Like I said, just play around with things and you will find something you like. I promise. This looks very cool. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.